Good evening and welcome to News Channel 8. I'm Jerome Magian and these are some of the top stories we have for you tonight. The police holds a press conference. Travel in Style makes a donation to the Cardiac Center. And we catch up with the exclusive band. These stories and more are up next on News Channel 8. top story tonight, the Virgin Islands Police Department Initiative for Festival. Here's Police Commissioner Novell Francis. As 2009 comes to a close, unfortunately, there are people in our community who are entertaining thoughts of harm and destruction toward the fellow men. We are mindful that too often acts of violence have marked the closing of the outgoing year in the Virgin Islands. I'm issuing a clear warning to those individuals or group that may be planning acts of retaliation for what you consider past offenses. Think before you act. Think seriously about the consequences your criminal actions will bring. Think about the pain and suffering that you'll be caused to your victim, their family, your family, and the community at large. Think whether you can live knowing that you have the blood of another human being on your hands. Think whether it is worth spending years in jail away from your loved ones and consider the loss of your freedom. If you're entertaining thoughts of committing unlawful acts, think also of the pledge of the Virgin Islands Police Department officers to relentlessly pursue all lawbreakers. And once apprehended, you will face swift justice. Let us have a safe and violent free holiday season. Choose the rightful part. And while I'm on the subject of unlawful behavior, I want to notify those of you that practice firing off with shots to announce the coming of the New Year's Eve that you are committing a crime. This practice of discharging shots is illegal and it's a very dangerous habit that could easily take the life of an innocent child. If you or anyone you know may be planning to shoot random bullets in the air on New Year's Eve, please do your best to discourage this behavior. The BIPD has a plan in place to identify and arrest a violator. While the holidays usually bring happiness and joy of spending time with family and loved ones, for some of our residents, these festive times make them feel sad, depressed, and alone. Please remember that you do not have to isolate yourself. You are part of a larger community, and we encourage you to reach out to family members or seek professional help. Let me take this time to touch on a few other subjects as we go forward into the heart of the holiday season. On St. Croix, the Crucian Christmas Festival is in full swing. On St. Thomas and St. John, many holiday parties, dances, and other events will be taking place. The VIPD will be out in full force throughout the territory to make sure everyone has a safe and enjoyable Christmas season. Remember, if there is violence at, at, at an event you're attending, the venue will be immediately shut down. While out enjoying a, the activities, if you see any suspicious behavior, Please use your cell phone to call 911. Allow the police to use this information and foresight to curtail the, any problems that might be developing. This way, everyone can enjoy the festive good time. In other news, Travel in Style made a donation to the Cardiac Center, and News Channel 8 cameras were there to take a look. On behalf of the Travel in Style organization, we are here to present a TV to the Cardiac Center in the treadmill room. And with me, I have our queen, Miss Beverly Davis, who will be presenting it with Dr. Griffith. Pleasant good day. I am Gwendolyn Royal Empress David. I'm Every Woman 2009. At this time, I would like Dr. Griffith to step on the treadmill. Um, hopefully your heart is in good shape right now. At this time, the Travel and Style Organization would like to present you on behalf of the Virgin Islands Cardiac Center, this TV, which is a wall mount TV, to the DV Carina Bay treadmill room. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. It's it's really an honor, a privilege um, to be able to, to to accept this TV for the Virginia Cardiac Center. Um, on behalf of Mrs. Plaska, the act, acting CEO and the chief of cardiology, Dr. 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 Potts, um, as well as the staff of the VICC, it really is um, it r really is a blessing, and I really appreciate um, what Travelling in, in, in Style has done for for the community. This TV is is good because when when you're on this treadmill machine, you know we call it stress test for a reason. <laughs> No, I will not demonstrate it right now. I'm, I'm not in good shape. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But but it really um, will make make a big difference for the patients because it, it just helps to to alleviate a lot of the anxiety that the patient may feel what, while they're doing this this test. This test helps us to be able to um, to diagnose whether whether someone has possible um, problems with the heart, such as coronary artery dis disease. And so it, it really does alleviate a lot of the anxiety, a lot of the fear that the patient may, may have. We have more news for you after the break. Stay with us on Channel 8.